Good morning, friends. So today I thought it would be cool to do a day in the life, working remotely, um, what I eat in a day, come along with me, whatever you want to call it, or whatever you saw on the title that I decided to name it down below. Um, but right now it's about 10 till 7. My work day starts at 8. So right now we are going to um, get freshened up and um, get ready to log in for our day. So come along with me. So how my morning routine usually works is um, my husband wakes up at four in the morning to go to the gym. And um, whenever he gets back, he'll get ready for work because he is not working remote at this time. So he will come home after the gym to get ready for work. And right now I'm just using the set of bill. Um, he'll come home, get ready for work. Um, and then after, or about 20 minutes before he is um, ready to leave, I'll wake up Jameson and get him ready. And uh, Deshaun will take him to my grandmother's. Um, he stays with my grandma during the day. That way, um, me working in admissions at a college here in the state, I um, have a lot of phone calls to make. And that is not really doable with a two-year-old. So when he, he, so then he will take Jameson to my grandma's during the day, and that's where Jameson will stay until I get done from work. Just putting in my contacts. Okay, now that we're all dressed and ready, we're gonna log in to work. Um, pretty much, I log in and uh, make sure that there's no emails or anything that needs quick response or immediate response. And then, you see our big crossword puzzle. We did this, um, we put this up on the wall, like in the middle of quarantine, and, and never finished it. But this room actually used to be, let me show you guys. This room actually used to be our dining room. So, got rid of the dining room table because we really never sat at it. Is that bad? Um, we got rid of the dining room table and got this desk and this bookshelf off Amazon. And um, this is me cleaning out Jameson's closet all to be donated. So um, that's what we did with this room, especially working remotely. It's better than me like working in my bed or work with the lap desk or working on the couch or finding somewhere on the kitchen counter to work. Um, this setup has really, really changed the way and my performance at work. So I really, I really like this. Um, so what I was saying, I log on so that I can see if there's anything immediate that I need to tend to. And then once I get everything okay, or started, then I'll fix my coffee or anything that I want for breakfast. So that's what you'll see now. Today I will be doing a what I eat in a day slash day in the life of mashup. So right now you're seeing me currently doing my morning routine as far as work, and then I will get into what I eat in a day. I am on the WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers, Blue Plan, and I get 23 points a day and 42 weeklies. Please stop what you're doing now, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below as we go through. So since there was nothing that was really pressing at the time, it is, let's see, it's about 8.20. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee, and here's our little coffee station. We have the coffee with the Keurig and then an espresso machine. Um, 
like what I found. Pumpkin cheesecake, are you kidding? So I've been using this just because fall is my jam. Um, up here, I'm collecting the Minnie Mouse main attraction cups, so that's fine. Hopefully I will um, be able to get Junes. They sell out so quickly, but a lot of people are just buying them to resell them. Um, but yeah, so I'm collecting the cups and I'm collecting um, the pin set for each month. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, so yeah, so right now I'm just gonna make some coffee. Here we go. show you that I have not updated my chalkboard sign in my coffee nook since Christmas. Look at it. Maybe it's cold outside, warm up here. It's a hundred degrees every single day. We are, the, we are at the end of July. Like what? what is life? Quarantine did that, let's just say that. that that's quarantine. So if you guys have any ideas, about what my chalkboard could say, should say, please leave them down below. Help a sister out. Oh, we need coffee in our creamer. So I showed this in my last video about how I measure, not how I measure, but the coffee creamer that I use, I only put in 15 milliliters to keep it zero point. So that is the first thing that I'm gonna have today. It is this Coffee Mate sugar-free hazelnut flavor. And 15 milliliters is zero points. So that is what we are going to do. Let's get the and then when it goes off, it freaks me out because I can't see it. I'm gonna keep it at 14 because my luck I would go way over. So here we go. There's our coffee. So I'm actually going to dive deep into work now. Um, I'm not gonna set you guys up. I will just get back with you whenever I'm doing something new. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Hello. I forgot that I am doing barbecue crockpot chicken for dinner today, and it is 10:15. So we need to get that on. Um, I will be able to do it on low for eight hours and then eat around six. I'll probably kick it up um, to high for the last two hours just to make sure that it's done because I'm a little bit behind on my time. So I'm going to clean the chicken here and then I will get it in the crock pot and show you everything that I'm putting in. All right, so I have the chicken all cleaned and in the crock pot, I'm gonna show you what I season it with and then we're gonna put the barbecue sauce on and let it cook on low for eight hours. And then like I said, I'm gonna kick it up at the end just because I wanna make sure that it's done, especially since I'm getting it in the crock pot late. However, I do wanna say before I do that, if you are not using the crock pot liners, you're doing it wrong because I don't know about you, but I do not like to clean the crock pot. For whatever reason, it seems like a really big chore to me than just cleaning a pan. I don't know if it's because it's super heavy or what, but I use crock pot liner and it makes clean up a breeze. So this is what that looks like. I get them in, they're by Reynolds, just I get them in the foil aisle at the grocery store. I don't have a box because I take them out of the box um, whenever I get them and just throw them in the drawer. But I put the crock pot liner on, put the chicken in, and I'm going to season it with um, some paprika to give it that smoky flavor. And then some garlic salt. And some onion powder. And some pepper. Okay, so I'm going to flip these 
season the other side and then I will bring you back. Okay, so I got these flipped and seasoned on the other side. We like a lot of seasoning over here. We gotta make things tasty. And then I'm just going to pour the barbecue sauce over the top like this. And I use about half a bottle to start with. And I'm using this sugar-free barbecue sauce, the G Hughes um, original. I usually get hickory, but they were out of that, so they substituted the original, which isn't bad, but it's another reason why I'm seasoning the chicken so well. So I'm gonna use this. This is gonna be zero points. The chicken is gonna be zero points, which means I will only have to count for my bun for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna put the lid on that. And then I'm going to put this on low and that'll be on low for um, till about till I get probably get home from my hair point. So that's that. Now let's now let's cook some breakfast because I'm getting hungry. I usually don't eat in the morning until I can say hey I'm hungry. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm going to make one of the egg wraps that I've been seeing on Instagram. So what it is, it's just scrambled egg. You put the scrambled egg in the pan and then put the wrap on top and then put your toppings on the inside. So I'm going to do um, the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles and some cheese and then we're gonna roll that up and I'll probably put some fruit with it or something. But let's start that because I'm hungry. stove up a little too high. Eggs cooked a little too, you know, hard for me. But um, it looks all right. See, so it's just like a little wrap. And so that the tortilla is one point, one smart point, the eggs are zero, the cheese is one smart point, and the sausage for a fourth cup is one point. So this is a three point breakfast. My hair stylist just texted me and asked me if I wanted to come at 12 instead of 2.30. She had a cancellation. It is now 11.40, so we have 20 minutes to get there, but I said yes. So we are headed to my hair appointment two and a half hours early. Okay, so we're headed to my hair appointment. How my stylist does her business during quarantine is she only has one person um, in her chair at a time or in the building at a time and you text her whenever you get there and she lets you know 
if the person before you is done and whether or not you can come in and the door to the building is actually locked so there's no one that can say oh I have an appointment next I'm just gonna come in and sit you're not allowed to bring anyone in there with you um, just you know for social distancing purposes and um, you are in and out so I have been able to go to the hairstylist on my lunch break now normally days on my or normally on my lunch break I go to the gym but today are being a, a hair day I was going to do like a home workout on YouTube do that around noon um, right before I had lunch but seeing that my appointment was moved up I am not going to probably not going to work out today or get any activity in only because your girl's not sweating out her hair so I um, just wanted to give you guys that update and um, I did tell her that I was probably going to be a few minutes late because there were some things that I had to do and things that I had to finish up with at work but um, she said that that's okay and so I'm gonna just once I get there I'm just gonna run in but I'm gonna like I'm gonna put you guys down because I'm driving and um, it's dangerous okay we are back so it's about two o'clock I'm going to take Chloe out Chloe's my little doggy I don't think I've shown Chloe yet Look at her, she's so precious. She's a precious girl. So I'm gonna take Chloe out for a quick walk so she can use the restroom, and then I'm gonna come back and fix some lunch. So, see you then. All right, let's check on the chicken. Chicken's looking good. Oh, fogged up the camera there. actually looking really good. For lunch, I'm gonna have the Bear Creek creamy potato soup. And I got this idea from Justin's Journey. She had a video on it, um, but whenever I put the turkey bacon in there, it makes it uh, one cup serving for seven smart points. So that's gonna be my lunch really quick. And right now I'm going to eat this and then log back in uh, to work to do some catch up and I will probably be there until it's time to pick up Jameson Well, I will be at work on the computer remotely um, until it's time to pick up Jameson at 5 so I'll see you then okay so I just took some of the chicken out of the crock pot and started shredding it and I went on and turned it off because it's complete it will be warm by time it'll still be warm by time we have dinner, but it's shredding so nicely. I'm so excited. The reason why I don't put the whole bottle of barbecue sauce in is because I like to put some on after it's shredded as well, so it just has that rich barbecue flavor. But I'm gonna go ahead and shred this and put it back in the crock pot and um, let it all mix together really nicely. Look who's home! Jameson's home! Jameson's home, say hi! Okay, so we're getting dinner together. We got broccoli on over here. But just really quick, I had a water bottle from earlier and I forgot that I had these um, prepped in the freezer. Have you guys ever seen one of these? It's a little ice tray that the ice cubes, they can just fit down into your water bottle. Isn't that cool? Oh, I really like that. Just like that, you can have ice water again in the water bottle. So cool. Who is that? Okay, I'm gonna use one of these hamburger butter buns by Nature Zone, and those are gonna be um, four smart points per bun. So I'm only gonna have one. 
And then my chicken and my broccoli are gonna be zero points, so it'll be a four point dinner. So after you shred the chicken, this is what it's gonna look like in the crock pot. And then I add a little bit more barbecue sauce onto it. And then this is my plate. I added a slice of Velveeta cheese. The slices are only one smart point. So for the bun being four, the chicken is zero, the broccoli is zero, and the cheese is one. This is a five point dinner. Okay guys, so here is how I'm going to end my day. So for breakfast, I had a banana with the breakfast wrap, the egg wrap, egg breakfast wrap, I'm not sure what it's called, but um, three points for that. For lunch, I had the Bear Creek creamy potato soup for seven points. For dinner, I had the um, barbecue crockpot chicken, and this is how I tracked that. I actually didn't end up having Brussels sprouts, I had broccoli, but still zero points. And then for the snacks today, I had a, um, a cup of peaches, diced peaches, no sugar added snack cup, one of the little cuties for zero points. And then for dessert, I'm going to end the night with one of the vanilla Cleo bars. So that will leave me with two points left for the day. All right, and that is a day in the life of me. So thanks for hanging out today. Comment down below if you have an idea for my coffee next sign because we need to get that changed. And give me a thumbs up if you wanna see more day in the lives or if you wanna see more of what I eat in a day, let me know. But other than that, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.